Hello, hello, folks, and welcome to a new game. I signed up to Keymower a while back. It took a while, but I eventually got verified on it. And this is one of the keys I recently got sent. I've got a sent of two others, but they don't really. I don't really think they're my cup of tea. This, on the other hand, is quite interesting. It is Darknet. Basically, you are a hacker, and you're commissioned to you're you're being paid to hack into various different uh, companies and collect certain data, uh, bits of da data, data, whatever. That's the thing of it, and it's it's fun game. And there's like a a news thing where you can read different information that's going on in the world of Darknet. There's it down. There's two versions of Darknet. There's a VR version and a non-VR version. I'm buying the non-VR version because I'm not made of money. Uh, this is $15 over on Steam. Uh, just as a side point, this isn't going to be a review or anything of the such. Yeah, I suppose you could end up... And nor is it going to be... Nor am I going into this completely blind. I had to do an audio test and I played to the end of the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this isn't going to be a review, but uh, but this will give you an impression of the game, certainly. And um, you can make your, your own mind up from there. So, how about we get into it, shall we? As we all know, this is, is completely accurate to hacking. People get pulled down random cables, and Vader getting all up in your system's guts. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the other day, I had to clean a hacker out of my tower. It was, it was utterly disgusting. And yes, you do get paid paid in Bitcoin. Though the funny thing is, the viruses you start buying in the thing are probably worth more than the pet money you get. You get two Bitcoins as a reward for doing the tutorial. I won't be doing that again. I did it once, and I wasn't actually recording at the time. Well, I was recording, I accidentally muted myself. And then I have to go pop back in twice more, and I can't bring myself to do it again. And actually, part of me is kind of preferring the audio when it was on 4, but I think I have to stick with it on 3. Ugh, I also have no idea what this is about. None. For advanced users only, maybe we'll f find out sometime. News! This is the news story I was telling you about. I clicked on this earlier. I'll read it now. In a series of pre-trading press releases, several major companies announced record growth in the previous quarter, dismissing reports of financial instability as a lingering remnant of the past financial crisis. Insiders credit a surge in public confidence and relaxation of government regulations in key markets as the causes of their continued success. Additionally, internet traffic and corporate-owned network protocols rose by more than 60% in the same period, which strengthened the market's optimism for the near future. New VR and not second year uh, released quantum CPUs now a majority. A corpse throttling competition uh, protocol crackdown stalled. Net backbone does it exist? And dark protocols on the rise. Let's have a look. The hacking world has taken taken yet another step into virtual reality this week as a new generation VR devices was released on the global market. VR was traditionally popular in the realm of consumer entertainment. But breakthroughs in interface design have finally kicked off a long expected wave of produ productivity applications. The software for the latest VR gear was focused on immense interfaces for network security, which has found a receptive market among white hat and black hat hackers alike. My limited knowledge of hacking, white hat is people who stop hackers, uh, well, and black hat are, well, not stop hackers, but was that it? I know black hat are people who, you know, hack into banks, do malicious stuff, and the white hackers are basically, the white hat ones are the ones to stop them. I think. I don't know hacking. I can tell you about Bitcoin. I can tell you about Bitcoin. I can't tell you about this. I can also tell you about ancient Rome. But, uh, the Roman Republic. But, no, I can't tell you about hacking. 
So yes, uh, the tech world celebrated a milestone today after a new report declared that quantum computers now represent the majority of the world's computing power. Quantum, cu com quantum computers introduced just over a decade ago offer several advantages over traditional CPUs, but presented manufacturing challenges for years. The introduction of quantum CPUs has caused major disruptions in the world of network security, leading to a surge of data leaks and other hacking incidents, but this fact has done nothing to diminish its popularity among consumers and businesses. A new study has confirmed that the anti-competitive practice of targeted throttling, i.e. reducing the speed of network for particular users, is widespread on corporate-run network protocols, despite official claims to the contrary. I remember hearing about that, apparently some, uh, well, there was allegations, emphasis on that, don't sue me, allegations, that some internet company was throttling, uh, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, uh, Netflix, so Netflix, to fuck them over, because they were, what the company what the company was doing was throttling Netflix, because Netflix wasn't you know kissing their arse or something. So, but the the other company was giving was basically doing the reverse when it came to internet speed testers websites, so that if you know um, this is what I was hearing anyway, if it's incorrect, yeah, uh, people were alleging this anyway. But uh, so, if you were trying to use Netflix on what their, with this company's internet, it would be slower. If you were trying to use uh, one of the speed check websites with this company's internet, it will be faster than it normally would be. It will, you would actually apparently get priority, kind of thing. Which people are claiming. Whether it's true or not is another thing. So Netflix set up their own speed check thing, and they had it done in such a way that if the companies wanted to do with the Netflix speed check they would boost up Netflix, so they wouldn't actually be able to use throttle down. So, um, yeah. In several cases, uh, if that's true, then the company's a fucking git. Uh, in several cases, a company w was found to be throttling, uh, specifically throttling traffic to its competitor on its privately controlled net protocols, sometimes in violation of national law. The throttling was almost always performed without official notice to users. Um, Experts claim that the practice has been slowly gaining popularity for years, and the trend is unlikely to reverse in the, future, in the near future. Uh, oops, skipped one. Uh, we've all heard the rumours, but is it true? The story of a mysterious ultra-secure net backbone server has rolled around the network security scene for years, but can you really believe it? Well, we've spoken with a famous member of the hacker collective, Ice9, and he assures us that the backbone network is very real. I don't know its purpose, but it definitely exists, said the hacker, who has to stay anomalous. Whatever is hidden in there, it's important. It's buried in the deep web, and you can't even connect to it without access to some serious hardware. But every password eventually gets cracked, right? It's only a matter of time. In fact... Backbone access! 30,000 Bitcoin. So in, uh... Real-time money, that will be... $3,000... Well, last time I checked, it was like $3,000. Uh, and that was like the other week. It could have popped up a bit. Maybe by a hundred or two. Maybe more. Uh, so let's just say it's three grand. My maths has gone out the window. Where's my phone? I'm sorry. Ma I can tell you about. No, I don't want to look at the camera. Fucking fat fingers. Um, ironically, I've quite slender hands. Uh, Thirty thousand by three. That would be 90... 90 million? Done. <laughs> oh, like shit. No shit. Nice. Uh... Oh yes, we'll bring this one now. Uh, but yeah. 90 million. Uh, yeah, I've been looking into Bitcoin, just like looking at it, because it's it just seems really interesting. Um, if you could start churning up Bitcoins, you make you know a pretty penny, It'd be really nice. Uh, but it's difficult to get into. Uh, you can't do it personally uh, unless you are willing to toss in, you know, a few good you know good amount of money into it. So like the only way for an average civvy to do it, an, well, an average person to do it will be if they were uh, to work with a cloud mining company. Basically, they have the servers, they have the stuff, you pay them, they mine, and give you the Bitcoin, or whatever. 
There's um, other currencies than just Bitcoin. There's like Ethereum, Litecoin. There's uh, a meme coin, uh, Do Dogecoin, D-O-G-E, D-O-G-E. You know, much wow, that meme. So something, much wow, whatever, that. Yeah, that's what it got named after. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I have no idea what this is about. Yeah. Um, a wave of, uh, I think I had a point I was saying there and forgot. I was abandoned. Connection terminated. Your hacking attempt has been recorded as a defeat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the tutorial. A wave of coordinated n n uh, net regulation proposals was defeated over the past week, and now it seems that users will continue to enjoy full freedom of choice among all available network protocols for the foreseeable future. In most cases, the defeat of legalization was intended to in internationally outlaw or suppress corporate-run network protocols and dark protocols in hopes of standardizing the government-regulated alternatives. Some experts claim that the regulated protocols offer better balance of privacy and security, but the opponents of the legislation argued that the next that the move was simply a governmental power grab. Then this news feed is automatically filtered to show only the most relevant items. The feed primarily includes media reports on the net, as well as any news that can be linked to your own hacking. The pop uh, popularity of so-called dark network protocols has, significantly, uh, has risen significantly over the past year, according to a recent survey. Oh yeah, I was saying about Bitcoin and uh, cloud mining. Yeah, I was, I was saying, you pay them, they give you Bitcoin. That's the only way, uh, uh, and, you know, an average person could do it, unless they view on the toss a fair bit of money at it. Um, and then you have to worry about it being profitable. Like you have to take into account, like uh, you know, maintenance, electricity, cooling, different things, and whether or not you're actually making enough to actually be, you know, making a profit. So, we, um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing because it, it looks like a really cool thing, but it's kind of uh, awkward to get into, at least from what I'm seeing. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but at least from what I'm seeing, it doesn't seem like the easiest of things to get into. So, yeah. The researchers who sp uh, ran the survey speculated that these dark protocols are likely gaining momentum due to their assumed... Uh, Assurance of uh, user privacy and um, automated anonymity, in contrast with the more common corporate controlled or government regulated net protocols. While they're often used by network security pro uh, professionals, dark protocols have historically been less popular due to their higher cost of operation and their association with criminality. So, and here's these things for 5 Bitcoin, we get 10k extra starting funds. And when we go in to hack a place, we have so, man so many funds to start with. As we hack each node, we get more cash. Enable worms. Why? That's the one thing I didn't get. I don't think. Interesting. There's four different things you can use: viruses, hydras, and exploits. Viruses are your default hacking thing. Uh, I'll show you them. They're the only things you'd use when you're hacking a node directly. When you're you use a hydra on a node you've already hacked, and it takes down any non-shielded node automatically. And when you're hacking a, a barred root node, which is what you want. And the exploits gets rid of shielding. Uh, there's sentinel nodes and ice nodes. The uh, uh, the exploits uh, exploits uh, things get rid of it, um, their shielding abilities. Uh, worms, I don't know what they do. Faster viruses. When a virus triggers um, ice, they, the ice tries to get rid of it. If these are faster, then you know you might be able to not. I wouldn't say outrun it, but you might be able to get to the node before it gets, before it gets rid of your virus, depending on positioning. Uh, this is just extra money. Access deep web, no idea. Data view, no idea. Backbone access, no idea. Probably just gives you access to new things um, or something. So access to cloud. Trippy. I've been playing this in VR. Um, difficulty, plus or minus to view more networks. Huh. Can I be honest? 
I really wouldn't mind being wouldn't mind being gi given, you know, 19 bitcoins right by now, or 26, Christ. That would be well for it. Imagine. <sighs> I'm, I'm just working, trying to work out how much that would be in my mind, and it's just like, wealthy money. That's all I can think of. Quite a lot. It would be quite nice. Um... Let's see. I don't want to go into a too difficult one. Hmm. Let's do this one. Actually, no. Yes, let's do it. Initiating connection. I do like the music for this game. You can buy the soundtrack. Uh, network visualization. Note the timer displayed below. This shows how much time remains before your intrusion in this network is detected. If the timer reaches zero, you will not receive any payment for hacking this network. The timer will not start until you begin hacking, so it is recommended that you plan your attack carefully. Okay, so now I can talk. And I'll explain this, give you the tutorial, and I will... Oh, damn, what was I going to say? Damn it, him talking threw me off. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say now. I think I said a bit of it, so if you want me to uh, re-say it... I think I said a bit at the point what I was going to get at. So if you really want to know, just give me the time link in the comments and I may remember. So, uh, okay, so I'll give you a tutorial now instead. Why, you know, die inside because of just annoyance of myself for not remembering. Okay, that's a basic, the most basic note, as far as I know. That's the most basic. It's worth nothing. Well, it's, it's worth a little, but it's worth next to nothing. This is a step up. It actually ha the green thing inside implies that it is important data. So that's it's still, you know, it's still. It's it doesn't have a firewall. Um, still, it doesn't have a firewall around. It's actually worth something. Now, this shielding and firewalls. I have no idea what either of them do. Somehow, I don't think they're beneficial to me in the slightest. So. Beyond that, but beyond that, I have no idea what shielding or firewalls do. The tutorial didn't say. It simply said that they were there. Like, I know firewalls help protect nodes. But in what way? Like, I don't know how the game handles it. Now, this is a sentinel. It provides firewalls. You want to get rid of that. Um, oh, actually, I remember what shielding does. I remember what shielding does. But I don't know what firewalls do. Unless the, fi the sh firewalls are the, are the shielding. <laughs> Regardless, remember hydras. Hydras uh, are, can't get tr get into shielded uh, nodes. So yeah, they also can't get into the root node. And the root node itself is a sentinel. It's not said there, but it is. So I'll uh, I'll say it again. That's it, that these nodes provide the least or van and they are protected. This actually has something, it's protected. Since these are right next to a sentinel, they have a shield. Um, sentinels give things shields. And this is what we want. I think I could have explained that better. But, yeah. Just poor phrasing on my part. But CLV. Um, and these all have varying, different, uh, varying amounts of worth. Like each node. They they're all within within the same ball, within the same ballpark, but they um, varying amounts within that ballpark. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just oohing and ahhing here. Uh, wouldn't be able to take that out yet. I need to start small and work from there. Where is where I started off? Is that... Was that it? 
Yeah, that looks to be it. Stop mining unprotected ones. Mm. I'm just thinking of using a Hydra. Uh, here's this stuff. This is what you start off. Um, uh, you start off with viruses. They're your basic tank. Then there's the Hydras there, the exploits, and the worms.